Hello, I'm Doug from the Mythical Dragon with a very cool tutorial on how easy it is to create exciting and realistic lightning effects. These effects can be used for regular lightning bolts, but today I'm going to focus on lightning that is shooting out of your hand like the evil emperor used in Star Wars. Let's start out by putting a couple of characters in the scene. Now these two guys really don't like each other much. I have already created some very radical movement animations for our two actors. As you can tell, I spent all day on it. Quite impressive, really. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't quit my day job. Now for the fun part. Let's add in the lightning. There are a couple of ways this can be done, and we'll go over both of them. First, the hard way. There are a bunch of individual lightning bolts. We need four or five of them to create a nice effect. Just pick out the ones you want and double click them. All of them should now be lined up in the same spot. Now throw in a dummy prop and attach each of the bolts to the prop. Now you can move it around and size it very easily. Now just line it up and resize it to fit your scene. Just like that. To animate the lightning, open the timeline. Open each of the lightning image props. Open the visible section for each one and turn the visibility off in the modify panel on the right hand side of the screen or by highlighting them and hitting delete on your keyboard. In the timeline, go to where you want the lightning effect to start. On the first image prop, turn the visibility back on. Move ahead about 5 frames and turn it back off. Now here comes the tricky part, listen carefully. For the second image prop, do the same thing except on this one. Turn the visibility on in the same frame you turned the first image prop's visibility off. Do this for all the rest of the image props. When you are finished with the last lightning prop, go back to the first one again. Turn its visibility back on in the same frame you just turned the last prop's visibility off. But this time you can copy and paste it. Just highlight and copy the first set. Then paste where you want it to go. Do the same thing for all the other image props. Repeat this process except this time copy and paste both sets. Then copy and paste all four sets. Keep repeating these steps until your animation is the length you want it to be. Now, the easy way. Instead of doing all that work, just drag and drop a pre-made lightning effect into your scene. There are four to choose from.
Turning the visibility on and off has already been done for you. Just open the Timelines Visibility section for each image prop. Highlight and delete the areas where you do not want the effect to occur. Pretty simple. Here is what our scene looks like so far. It looks like our good guy is in trouble. He is about to find out what happens when you don't pay your electric bill. He needs some defenses. Let's activate his saber by right clicking the screen. Go down to perform and selecting to turn on the saber. Well, that was easy. I've taken this little scene and added some post effects. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool, huh? Now you can purchase this lightning effect by itself or at a discount in a group pack with the sabers. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing what you make with these awesome special effect props.